Welcome, I'm JV with Cyber and You, and today we're going to go over how to first download Docker and then install Docker on our Windows 10 client. Um, the process for the Windows 10 and the Windows Server is the same. Um, you're just going to go to the Docker website, download it, and then actually install it. But let's go over what Docker containers are for one. Um, Docker containers are essentially isolated and optimized virtual machines that solve the problem of, for example, um, if you ever ran into a problem of you sending an application to a friend and they in attempt to install it, but they're having a bunch of issues. You yourself didn't run into any issues while you're installing that application. Um, and one of those reasons as to why he may have issues versus you is you guys have completely different setups. And in the instance of Docker, if you were to send him a Docker container, you and your friend would have the exact same setup within that container. So it should be running the same on your personal computer as it would on your friend's personal computer. So it's essentially just a way to keep everything consistent in the end and identical in a virtual machine uh, setup. So let's go ahead and get into it and open up our Microsoft Edge or Firefox, Google Chrome, whichever browser you end up using and go to these, this link right here. Um, I'm gonna have it down below in the uh, description as well. Just makes it easier. Docker is gonna require you to actually make an account and log in. So you're gonna click please log in to download right here on the right side. Um, create an account. And then once you create the account, it's gonna ask you to verify your email address. Verify that as well. And then go back to the page we were at previously and now this please log in to download should actually turn into a download button and once you actually complete the download um, it'll save it onto your machine uh, wherever you specified your downloads to go for me it is in my user profile of users cyber and you downloads and then in order to install it I'm gonna click on docker for Windows installer Windows will most likely ask you if you will allow this app to make changes to your device. Uh, of course I do, so I'm going to click yes. Let's minimize this downloads. Um, now it's actually going to download the package. I do want to add a shortcut. And I do want to use Windows containers instead of Linux containers. Um, you can change that at any point in time, but since this is, um, I'm trying to focus on the Windows side of things, I would like to have that checkbox checked. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to finish up unpacking. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the Internet Explorer or whichever browser you end up having. It'll take a moment to do the actual installation. Once installation is complete, you should see that screen right here, installation succeeded. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Now you're going to see a nice little whale. At the bottom right, I haven't started it yet, so I won't see it here. But if I double click on the Docker desktop, and then it's asking me to log out. So I'm gonna go ahead and log out and log back in. I'm gonna go right here, sign out. Now that I've signed back in, I'm gonna double click on Docker desktop once more. And now it's going to begin the uh, startup of Docker itself. You should be seeing a nice little whale down here. And since this is our first time doing this, it's actually going to ask us if we would like to enable Hyper-V and containers features on our Windows 10 machine. And of course, that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then it'll go through enabling it and most likely restart our client as well. Once it finishes up, you're gonna start seeing working on updates. Um, most likely, just because it started enabling that Hyper-V and containers feature on your client. And once the restart is complete, um, you'll just have to log back in. Now that we've logged back in, um, Docker itself should be starting up. Um, and the way you can verify that is going to the bottom right here and unhiding essentially. 
and you'll see the little whale doing its thing and as you can see it says docker desktop is starting this will take a little bit of time for it to actually um, initialize and get ready for us once it's ready it's actually gonna go ahead and just be saying uh, docker desktop is running and it'll just be a white icon here and with that you have successfully installed the docker um, desktop add-on to your Windows client and I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again